when playing football manager, the colours within your game are so important when you are flicking through players, when you are deciding which player to use. Like that, you can decide who your best player is. I am Paul Orson on the North Man, and in this two minute Tuesday video, this Football Manager 2023 guide, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to alter these colours on your attribute screen and make your Football Manager more customised to you. Now if you are new here, please make sure you do go down and hit that subscribe button so you do not miss any more guys, hints and tips, experiments and my Let's Play series on this channel going forward. And if you do like live content, make sure you do go and check out my Twitch link in the description below. We stream on a Monday and a Thursday evening as well as the odd extra day. So we're a minute into the video, let's finally show you how to adjust these colours within Football Manager. So if you go onto the FM option and go to Preferences and just very simply type in the word colour, you will see here you actually have a colour blind option, but if we go to Custom Skin Colours and click Skin Colours, you have all the different ones here, so you can actually adjust the player positions if the poor, makeshift, awkward, unconvincing, competent, accomplished or natural, as well as loans in and out, trials in and out virtual, play shortlist of custom skin colours, custom focus colour, etc, etc. That, that's a little bit different, but we're looking at this here, the attributes. And within here, you can adjust. So if you have someone who is excellent at an attribute, it is yellow on mine. If they are good, it is green. Average is like a grey. And low attributes, like a, a dullish grey, because they almost disappear from your quick glance and eye sign. You can see here, excellent attribute threshold is currently 16 out of 20. Good is 11 out of 20, and average is 6 out of 20. Again, if you are playing at the low leagues, maybe players who have above 10, you would say that's excellent at this level. So I'm going to set the excellent to 10, maybe good down to 7, and average at 5. So it's, it's condensing the gaps between average, good, and excellent, but it's helping you say, okay, that guy is fantastic for this level. So we are going to make some adjustments. So if we go to the excellent option and we select that as like a green to say like, okay, green is like very good. And we change that to a yellow. So we can say, okay, if they are decent, the yellow, but if they are great, the green. So if we click reload skin, so now you will see his first touch his flair and bravery is all this darker green. I don't quite like that green, so I'll probably go in and adjust it. And all of these average ones are yellow instead. Now, I actually like that. I think it pops. So let's go and adjust the green. So we go back into colour. We go to skin colour. And we go to excellent. So that's a bit of a dull green, isn't it? Let's go to a popping light green. Yeah, that looks a bit more popping, doesn't it? There we go, and I actually really like that. I think the yellow, because so many of my players are around that range at the minute, stands out a lot more, and green for good, green for gold. Green. I mean, you see, when they're training good and they have a good average rating, it's green. So why not have the attribute as green when they are doing good? But this was our two-minute Tuesday. This was our quick and easy guide for this week. Hopefully it does help you. Hopefully it helped. Make sure you do comment below, make sure you have subscribed, like the video, and I will see you next time.